Hello, hello, hello. My name is Angel Jones. Thank you for joining me on 12 Minute RV Convos. Follow along with me as I hit the road to have conversations with amazing people from all over the world. Good afternoon. Uh, with me, I have Corey uh, Kelly. Uh, am I pronouncing Corey properly? Yeah. Yeah? Corey Kelly. Corey Kelly. He said it even better, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, so we have Corey Kelly. Corey, what I'll do is I'm mixing up my interviews, yeah? Mm-hmm. So I'm on a goal to meet and interview 1,001 past podcast guests of my podcast who have dotting across the U.S. and uh, having and Canada. Canada, sorry, and having those conversations okay. uh, with those people has been phenomenal. Just meeting people you've only heard. Yeah. Like the first reaction is, ah, oh, so Andres is an example, right? Yeah. So what I'll do is I'll ask you those questions that I'll ask them. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's templated question. But it's pretty cool. I yeah. think it's a pretty cool experience. Yeah. Amanda, do you think it's a pretty cool experience? Yeah, it is. Yeah. It sounds like a pretty cool experience. Uh, it's just it's fascinating. So let's do this. Please do tell me which of your talents, if you had to name one, is responsible for us connecting at this point in time. Um. Wow. This is, yeah. That's, that's a really good question. Um. I would. I. I'm skilled in operations. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was in the military uh, as an intelligence analyst. So data and operations are my thing. Um, so when I moved to West Palm Beach, um, I was looking to kind of leverage those skills that I had gained over the course of the time I was in the military, which brought me to an internship here. Yeah. Ultimately, you know, a year later, uh, this time uh, being on uh, full time staff. Mm. Tell us where we are. Tell us where. So tell we're. Us, tell us where. <laughs> tell them where we are. Tell them where we, are. <laughs> we are at Palm Beach Tech Space. Uh, which is a co-working space in West Palm Beach, Florida, geared to grow the Palm Beaches into the tech hub um, and connect you know, technology uh, companies and associations throughout South Florida. Oh, sweet. Oh, yeah. sweet. Oh, sweet. So who did you learn the skill of um, being analytical from? Yeah, it is, it's, it's all about training. Um, so I went to the military. Uh, if we dig deeper. Yeah, that's like, right. Friend, like family, possibly a friend. Dig deeper than going to. Like, who do you think had that type of skill uh, that you possibly learned from organic? Before. Yeah. So who 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 first off influenced me to even like, consider the job? In the my mother. Yeah. 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 My mom is she's calculated. Oh, there we go. Very calculated. Yeah. Um, she's a professor. Um, she's she's up for. Uh, Doctoral, she should be graduating soon. Sweet. So she's she's very analytical and she's an educator. What's her name? Um, Felicia. You took a while. Well, like, well I was trying to think like if she saw this, right? it should be like <laughs> yeah, Felicia is yeah. her name. Hi, Felicia. Um, but yeah, she she was just always kind of like on point growing up. Yeah. And I think that took notice. I always wanted to be at least in line enough yeah. to where she was she was satisfied. Not in, not in a bad light, but. Yeah. Why would you continue to repeat the skill of being analytical? You've done the time, right? Mm-hmm. I'm guessing there was a point where you probably shelved this and was like, why am I going through this, right? I'm yeah. guessing, right? Because no, I'm yeah. of course, okay. Yeah, okay. Why would you continue to repeat those skills? It's easier. Mm-hmm. Um, it's easy to have at least some kind of structure in your life. Um, you know, you have to get up and go to work at a certain time. But there's certain things you have to do before that, yeah. right? Um, that will allow you to be successful throughout your day. Mm-hmm. So just that word success will be the reason why I kind of, uh, like, I guess continue to build on top of um, the structure and, and, you know, being analytical and thought and uh, slow to speak. Um, being slow to speak, cool. Yeah. So for me, that was a challenge. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, 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 I guess it is. It is uh, a challenge, but um, those are the reasons why I will definitely continue to be mm-hmm. kind of follow along that path. Yeah, Love just it. makes things easier as well. Love it. Yeah. Tell me one other thing that you've done consistently over the last three years, please. Something that I've done consistently over the past three years. Learn. Mm-hmm. Actually, the past three years have been 
a kind of like trajectory, tra trajectory of learning because I was leaving the military to an unknown space, mm -hmm. being like normal people life, if you yeah. will. Um, so I wanted to make sure that I learned enough to where I wouldn't like go crazy trying to figure things out too yeah. late. Which yeah. could happen, right? Yeah, yeah it, it can. Um, <laughs> I know these answers kind of like, but to learn, to learn about technology, to learn about you know how to how do I balance my my book, yeah. you know, um, those aren't the kinds of things that you think about when you're 17, 18. Mm -hmm. um, or now, how did you feel when like being like knowing that you've done that right, that preparation, and to be here today, right, where you're not yeah. worried, you're full time now. How did that make you feel? At ease. Yeah. Yeah. I I don't, I, I can't imagine one where I would be right now, mm -hmm. and two what I would be doing like how I would be able to function mm -hmm. had I not taken just a little bit of time yeah. across the past three years. I've, I've been here for a year and a half. Um, so the year and a half before was just, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I, I probably <laughs> would have never left the military if I didn't feel comfortable enough to, to, do that. to come back to this place. That's yeah. amazing. So just to someone out there, specifically someone in the military or probably someone who's transitioning from uh, where they are to where they want to be, uh, why should they do what you've done? Do what I've done specifically? I would say just... specifically applying the principles of mm. uh, prepper, like learning, like well your preparation was learning, right? Uh, yeah. But doing what was necessary uh, to make the next step easy. Right. Like, why would you suggest that to someone else? Oh, okay, yeah. Um, I just want it, 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 it makes it easy. I would, I definitely encourage um, taking some time, one, for personal growth. Um, if you kind of analyze the amount of time that you waste in your day, which is okay to sometimes, right, to realize, but to take the times that you are wasting and, and apply it towards something um, that you are looking to do in the future, um, whatever that job or career path may be. Um, just a little bit of time. If you think about it, yeah. throughout the week you probably have about 60 hours of time that you just let go to waste. Mm -hmm. um, that's a lot of time. Love it. So yeah. taking the time to prepare and do all that stuff within that time won't disrupt your day because you're already kind of using that. Yeah. And it's going to waste. Mm -hmm. Instagram, Facebook, YouTube videos, yes. <laughs> whatever it is. Probably, and, yeah, probably yeah. where you're looking at this now, but if you're looking at this, you say, Stop looking at so much other content, right? What is he saying? Yeah, no, well, <laughs> content, content like this, which it's is good, rich, right? it's, it's rich in information and it'll, it'll help you grow yeah. at, on some level. Yeah. Um, but other content like yeah, cats, is. you know, <laughs> spend, you know, that might not be the best thing to spend all your time on. Yeah, you know, so relax a bit, but you know, like, yeah. like get out there. Uh, where's the best place for someone to connect with you, uh, to connect with the space you're in right now? Yeah, um, so first myself, uh, you can find me on Instagram at CorleusMK, which is C-O-R-L-E-O-U-S-M-K. Um, you can find me on LinkedIn at Corleus, and then on Facebook, same thing, CorleusMK. Mm -hmm. um, you can link with Palm Beach Tech. I encourage you to come by if you're in the area. Yes, it's beautiful. Um, yeah, it's awesome. I like it. I like meeting people. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you can follow us at Palm Beach Tech on all social media channels. That's Palm Beach Tech, T E C H. Um, and then our website is palmbeachtech.org. Love it, love it. Yeah. Well, let's switch gears for a moment. Let me now invite you, if you would imagine with me, uh, into my time machine that is <laughs> surrounded with beautiful, warm blue Caribbean water. Mm. Corey, what is your earliest childhood memory? That <laughs> my earliest childhood memory is biting my doctor's finger when I lived in Tallahassee. <laughs> he gave me a shot. I remember that I got pulled out of school. I got pulled out of school. I, I remember this because I got in trouble for it. Uh, my uncle gave me his finger. Um, I got pulled out of school to go to a, uh, an appointment, and I thought I was going to the mall yeah. in Tallahassee. But our doctor's office was inside of the mall. <laughs> and, you know, they do the checkup, and he kind of like pulled out the needle, and I knew it was at the end. He gave me a shot and like put the band aid on real quick, 
And as he was putting the band-aid on, I fit his Because I didn't give him permission to give me that shot. I remember that's so good. Uh, how old do you think you were? I don't know. I was, I, I knew I was like pre-kindergarten. So what is that? Four? Like four, yeah. Yeah. So if you had to connect the dots, right? Why do you think that memory, specifically that memory is so clear? Because my uncle gave me his finger. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Ooh, can I offer and, uh, <laughs> can I offer an interpretation to the thought picture you created in my mind with that memory? Yeah, of course, yeah. Yeah, I love the idea of uh, you and your preparation and how necessary it is for you to be prepared even for something that could seem to be life saving. Like had you been prepared, you know, yeah. it would have been better. They should have told you. They should have told you. <laughs> they should have told me. They should have Hey, you know, you're going for the shot, yeah? But uh, it seems as though if I could connect it, uh, you are very concerned with making sure you're not in that mood where um, your emotions can or could get out of control. Yeah. And preparing does that. It gives you that level of control so that you don't have to bite someone's finger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is that fair? Yeah, that was yeah, yeah. That's fair. Yeah. I like that. Which yeah, that's a that's a good explanation. Yeah. Not too out of control, um, but I like to say, yeah. have some forward. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. If we fast forward to when you were twelve years old, what was your favorite song? <sighs> what was I doing when I was twelve? What grade was I in? Uh, eight. Is it eight? I think eight it's grade? Eight. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I was. I used to listen to um, Rick Ross. I don't even know the name of the, the song. song. You can sing it. Um, Blow right, by Rick Ross. That's what it's called. <laughs> I don't want to say it because it's like a hot pitch voice, but it was Rick Ross Blow. I don't even know how great it was, but I know I was still listening to that song. Cool. It was cool. Probably it was shouldn't cool. have been listening to that song. But it was cool. <laughs> it was good. <laughs> I'm not from where we've arrived at our destination, but before we get off of this time machine that we're imagining here, uh, with the red chairs, right? Uh, I want to ask you some quick questions. So it's yes or no, yeah? Uh, have you chosen someone to pass on your skills to? Yes. Are you married? No, sir. Yes. No, I was going to say every person that I meet, I try to. Yeah. Yes, I'm married. Yeah. Do you have children? No. Do you believe in God? Yes. Do you have an innocent of friends? Yes. Do you watch TV for more than three hours a day? No. How about three hours a week? Yes. What about screen time, the phone and the computer? Is it more than eight or less than eight hours a day? Less than eight hours a day. After a thousand and one podcast conversation, ooh, it's a thousand nine hundred and eighty seven now, right? Okay. I came up with something called yours, it's called your own unique real self, right? Mm -hmm. And connected to that are things like your own unique real statement, your own unique real stance. I would like to know if you had to share with us, all of us, your own unique real statement, a statement that represents who Corey Kelly is. What would you say that is? Continue to grow and bring people along with you. Love it. Corey, this has been a great pleasure. Before you leave, is there anything else you'd like to share with our amazing audience? No. <laughs> it's just. <laughs> There we go. I, I, you know, I saw you. If you follow me on Instagram, yeah. then we can have a conversation. <laughs> there we go. Corey Kelly, it's been a great pleasure. Thank you for being on what is inspired by 12 Minute Convos with Angel.